Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to take a look again at the R for Data Science, and we're in Chapter 5, and we're looking at, just at the end, and we're looking at counts. Okay, so missing values count. So whenever you do any aggregation, it's always a good idea to include a count. So N open parenthesis, close parenthesis, or a count of missing values, which is the sum of uh, values that are not. Um, so excluding is NA. That way you can check that you're not drawing conclusions based on very small amounts of data. For example, let's look at the planes identified by their tail number that have the highest average delays. So by identifying the tail number, in effect, what we're looking at then is um, the performance of individual planes. So the, the planes can be identified by their uh, tail number because these are uh, u unique and individual to each of those. So if we run that, then go back into our studio from and run this code. So hold on, I might just clear the console. Okay, so we run this delays and then we plot the delays uh, against count. And so um, in that instance, uh, we have, we can see that uh, there are some planes. So again, because we've done it with tail num, um, we can I identify some planes that have average delays of um, 300 minutes. Okay, so divide by 60 and you have five hours. Uh, we can maybe develop this insight or develop a little bit more nuance in the approach here if we use, use a scatter plot and we include in uh, in addition to our uh, existing variables uh, specification here for count okay so if we apply uh, again the same snippet of code but we record n and then graph that in terms of uh, a GM, a G, a G, the geometry of point in the GG plots, and uh, the, the G, GM point gives us a scatter graph. So again, just to uh, observe that, uh, we run again delays. We capture n. And then we now look at, um, okay, so in that instance then that we find um, once we have um, the scatter plot set up, we can see these individual flights, fairly rare, but where there are fairly substantial, uh, um, where there can be, in fact, flights that are, um, are planes that have uh, quite a uh, high amount of delay. Uh, now, in reality, when we increase, if we filter, take the same snippet of code again, but introduce a, a filter here so that we exclude values less than 25. In other words, where the flights, um, the number of flights is um, less than 25, then that becomes less um, uh, defined and you find that okay there may be some uh, flights where uh, okay so we've truncated less than 25 is gone up to this point here when we exclude that segment of the scatter plot then uh, delays there are some planes that have delays of in excess of 40 minutes but the bulk less than 40 minutes and some a bit earlier than that but n having a higher n here is a way of uh, ensuring that we have uh, more than just a small number of flights that there's actually a large number of flights
for a particular uh, plane. So again, to make the interpretation here, um, we would say Okay, so the okay, so looking at the previous graph, okay, uh, there is much greater variation in the average delay when there are a few flights. The shape is not of this plot is, is very characteristic wherever you plot a mean or other summary versus group size. You'll see the variation decreases as the sample size increases. So for the larger sample sizes, there is less variation. Uh, also, when looking at this sort of plot, it's often useful to filter out groups with smallest numbers of observations. So then, uh, planes with the fewest flights, so you can see more of the pattern and less of the extreme variation in the smallest groups. And again here, once we exclude n less than the 25, so we're filtering for n greater than 25, then we're, we're getting less variation. Uh, and maybe more reasonable set of numbers. Um, okay, so again, counts uh, it can be implemented in the plier. It's very useful, and it's something that uh, adds value again in terms of uh, providing material for the GG plots and for visualization generally.